Well, you know, we, we thought, were there going to be any surprises? Were there going to be any shockers? And in American whiskey, we got it. We had some phenomenal bourbons, ryes, uh, entered because that, uh, for me, I mean, yes, indeed, scotch and gin are my two favorite uh, categories of spirits. But I have to tell you, American whiskey right now is on the fast track for me. Uh, there are some phenomenal rise bourbons being made. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chairman's Trophy for North America, uh, $17 a bottle. <laughs> when we unveiled this, I mean, the judges pretty much knew because they're such good tasters, they know. But uh, there, there was kind of a hush in the room when David, Sue, and I unveiled the, the Chairman's Trophy winners to the judges that this uh, kind of modest uh, Tennessee sour mash whiskey won over uh, many American whiskeys that were two, sometimes three times the price. So what does that say? Well, I can tell you for years, uh, two of us in uh, my partners uh, in another company, Beverage Alcohol Resource, David Wandrich and I, uh, when we teach about American whiskey, we always mention George Dickel. I mean, yes, Jack Daniels is the other Tennessee whiskey, you know, and Jack Daniels does a wonderful job. I, I'm not denigrating them in, in the least. But even though there are only two distilleries operating right now in Tennessee, I always tell people who say, oh yeah, I had some Jack and Coke, or I had Jack. And I always say, just try some George Dickel. I mean, this, this stuff is phenomenal, but nobody knows about it. So I was, I have to say, I was terribly pleased to see a tremendous, the rest of these are pretty predictable because these are all world-class, easily understood Chairman's Trophy winners, Bro starting with brokers all the way through to uh, the, the very end with San Germain. This was the one dark horse. And I have to say, I was so pleased for the George Dickel people. Oh, let me ask you. So what did you think of the Dickel? Did you like it? Now, I, obviously sweeter, certainly, than both the barley-based Irish and Scotch whiskeys. Now, keeping in mind, barley is the driest of all the grains that are used for for whiskey, and corn is the base for the George Dickel, and corn being the sweetest of all grains used for distillation, it's absolutely sweeter. But is that, is that a bad thing? No, it's just a different style, different, different base material, but the aging is, is spot on. Uh, distillation is really good. They took that, that, that heart, that center. Yes, sir. I'll tell you. Uh, George Dickel is so hard to find right now. For a long time, Diageo owns it now, but for a long time, uh, Dickel sales went like this because production was stopped for about four years, I believe. So four years or so? Yeah. And, and then Diageo picked it up and they have wanted to rejuvenate it. So that, that lag of three to four years really hurt distribution. It's extremely hard to find. Many bars do not, have, actually I think the bars who have it are like Pegu Club, because Audrey Saunders loves Dickel, uh, and maybe uh, Julie Reiner's uh, Clover Club in Brooklyn, or, yeah, you got, anybody else? Yeah, it, it's, it's really hard to get, but once people have, once bartenders, once clubs and, and bars have it, they don't want to let it go. It's a wonderful ingredient for cocktails as well.